Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Sandino Gomez, and uh, I'm here to share a little poem with you that I wrote about the school to prison pipeline as part of my assignment for uh, my teacher credential program. Um, <clears throat> you know, a little history about me. I've been a member of the uh, Watson and Brown Brays for many years, and uh, previously we used to do a lot of work around helping our students succeed in any way possible, getting them into college, getting them jobs, helping them avoid problems, helping them with schoolwork, whatever we could do from you know the limited resources that we had. And um, you know, one of the things we used to do was go to the school board meetings and advocate for students and policies that made sense. And uh, it was really sad because a lot of times we'd end up going and seeing the uh, you know, suspension and expulsion procedures where they would just push tons of kids out of their school districts. And it was, um, it was really sad to watch because I just thought of like the amount of wasted potential there and all the kids that could have been, but unfortunately we're gonna um, you know, struggle in various ways to get their lives back together. So you know, I'm really proud of that work what we did and you know part of why I want to become a teacher is so that I can help young people and be an advocate for them and that they can know that there's someone there that cares for them and cares for the success and cares for their well-being so um, you know I guess with that being said uh, I'll just share this poem now <clears throat> the school to prison pipeline defined a way to push the kids out of a class and get them behind bars and glass when the expulsion or suspension leads to juvenile delinquency, best believe the prison and jail system got their own frequency. They're trying to tune them in to a life trapped within these four walls instead of just walking down their school halls. Zero tolerance leads to more problems, and just discipline ain't going to solve them. The system is bigger than you or me. It goes way back in our history. See, the 13th Amendment made slavery illegal, but only for non-incarcerated people. Commit the crime, then do the time, but while you're there, your ass is mine. Working away in a private prison all day, used like cheap labor. Best believe this is a disgusting flavor, because it tastes like lost potential and sadness. Very few people could ever find gladness in locking up our youth. But the sad truth is there's money to be made, but only if they got the bodies to get paid. So they need to find another source, of course, and that... What better resource than the failing schools filled with all kinds of fools? Some are just students. They don't know no better. They think life is just all about getting that cheddar. They don't even know that your education level will likely determine how far you go. But then there's the teachers and admin that think that the punishment will make good things happen. With stricter policies and more police, some schools have just become another way to feed the beast. Suspend? Expel? He's a problem? Oh well. Just pass the buck and don't give a lucky as you might be. It's very likely that you don't have the resources and help. You might just end up in your own incarcerated hell. We got more police on campus than ever before, but still we continue to lose the war. On poverty primarily, but there's all kinds of problems in our society. Our schools are crumbling. Teachers be grumbling. And when that old AC unit kicks on, the whole classroom is rumbling. Even our teacher friends in red states are ready to go state that we need more resources in our schools if we're ever going to be great. Make America great again? <laughs> Let's start with fully funded education and then make the Air Force hold a bake sale for bombers. These youth be trying, but zero tolerance means they better be minding the P's and Q's because the system will use just about any excuse to punish and discipline. Then they find themselves within a frustrated office of the administration faced with folks that might not know that if they use the suspension or expulsion, these kids might never grow. They need multi-tiered systems of support, not a referral or an arrest that ends up with them in court. That's not helpful. These kids mean well, but if they don't get the chance to learn from their mistakes, how can we ever expect them to be great? It costs so much to educate and several times more to incarcerate our young people. Can't you see this is evil? These kids want to grow up into productive people, but they're faced with all kinds of prejudices and best believe they ain't applied equally to all the kids, especially the black, brown, and poor. We want our kids to be great, but if they can't get the help they need, we shouldn't blame them for trying. So therefore, we're denying the system of mass incarceration any more new bodies. Gonna make sure our kids got some hobbies and some other extracurricular. Make sure this cycle ain't secular. We're gonna make them feel wanted and loved and like there are friends above looking out for them and hoping to see success because we know that given the right help that they can pass any test. Watch us shut down the school to prison pipeline with using nothing more than an educated mind. Yeah, one day I'll have that memorized and I'll spit it all dope and stuff, but I was reading it, obviously. So excuse my uh, little typos there. Uh, be sure to check out the description below. Uh, a lot of great links to a lot of great organizations doing work uh, around the school to prison pipeline, around mass incarceration, the system, uh, you know, uh, 
disproportionately represents like you know poor African American and Latino folks. Uh, you know, tons of information down below. Definitely click on those links and learn a little bit more. Um, I'll also post the text of the poem in case you can understand me, which is very likely. Sometimes I mumble and grumble and you have to pardon me because sometimes I just like the ready to rumble and stuff or whatever. Anyway, um, thank you for checking me out. Hope you have a good night. Peace out.